Ravana was a king of the island Lanka and the chief antagonist in the Hindu epic Ramayana and its adaptations. In the Ramayana, Ravana is described to be the eldest son of sage Vishrava and Rakshasi Kaikizi. He abducted Lord Rama's wife Sita and took her to his kingdom of Lanka, where he held her in Ashok Vatika. Later, Rama, with the support of Vanara king Shugriva and his army of Vanars, attacked Ravana and Lanka. They killed Ravana and Rama rescued his beloved wife Sita. Ravana is widely considered to be a symbol of evil but he also has many qualities that make him a learned scholar. He was well versed in the six Shastras and the four Vedas. Ravana is also considered to be the most revered devotee of Shiva. Images of Ravana are seen associated with Shiva at some places. He also appears in the Buddhist Mahayana text Lankavatara Sutra, in Buddhist Ramayanas and Jadakas, as well as in Jain Ramayanas. In some scriptures, he is depicted as one of Vishnu's cursed doorkeepers. Statue of Ravana at Konswaram Hindu Temple, Sri Lanka The word Ravana means roaring, the opposite of Vaisravana, meaning here distinctly. Both Ravana and Vaisravana, who is popularly known as Kabera, are considered to be patronymics derived as sons of Vishrava. Ravana was a title taken on later by Dashanana, and it means screamer in Sanskrit. Further, Roravana is Sanskrit for loud roaring. In Abhinava Gupta's Kramashiva scripture, Yasam Ravanam is used as an expression to mean people who are truly aware in terms of the materialism of their environment. Ravana has many other popular names, such as Dasis Ravana, Dasis Sakati Maha Ravana, Dasanan, Ravula, Lankapati, Lankshwar, Lankshwaran, Ravanasura, Ravanyashwaran, and Elavendhar. Ravana is depicted and described as having ten heads, although sometimes he is shown with only nine heads, as he cut one off to convince Shiva. He is described as a devout follower of Shiva, a great scholar, a capable ruler and a maestro of the Veena. Ravana is also depicted as the author of the Ravana Samhita, a book on Hindu astrology, and the Arka Prakashan, a book on Siddha medicine and treatment. Ravana possessed a thorough knowledge of Siddha and political science. He is said to have possessed the nectar of immortality, which was stored inside his belly, thanks to a celestial boon by Brahma. Ravana was born to great sage Vishrava, and his wife, the Rakshasa princess Kaikizi in the Treta Yuga. People of Bizrak village in Uttar Pradesh claim that Bizrak was named after Vishrava, and that Ravana was born there. But according to Gila historical sources and folklore, Ravana was born in Lanka, where he later became king. Ravana's grandfather on his father's side, the sage Palastya, was one of the ten Prajapatis or mind-born sons of Brahma in one of the Saptarishi in the first Manwandera. His maternal grandfather was Sumali, the king of the Rakshasas and the son of Sakesha. Sumali had ten sons and four daughters. Sumali wished Kakeshi to marry the most powerful being in the mortal world, so as to produce an exceptional heir. He rejected the kings of the world, as they were less powerful than he. Kaikisi searched among the sages and finally chose Vishrava, the father of Kibera. Ravana and his siblings were born to the couple. They completed their education from their father, with Ravana being a great scholar of the Vedas. Ravana and his two brothers Kumbhakarna and Vibhasana performed penances on Mount Gokarna for 11,000 years and won boons from Brahma. Ravana was blessed with a boon that would make him invincible to the creation of Brahma, except for humans. He also received weapons, chariot as well as the ability to shapeshift from Brahma. Ravana later usurped Lanka from his half-brother Kabera and became the king of Lanka. He appointed Shukracharya as his priest and learned the Arta Shastra from him. Ravananyagraya theme One of the most popular images of Shiva is called as Ravananyagraya which was popular in Gupta era which depicts Raven beneath Mount Kailasa playing the Veena made out of his head and hand. Strings made out of his tendons with Shiva Parvati sitting on top. According to scriptures, Ravana once tried to lift Mount Kailash, but Shiva pushed the mountain into place and trapped Ravana beneath it. For a thousand years, the imprisoned Ravana sang hymns in praise of Shiva, who finally blessed him and granted him an invincible sword and a powerful linga to worship. Queen Mandadari and the women of Lanka mourning the death of Ravana. Bar leaf of 9th century Prambanan Temple, Java, Indonesia. Ravana's family are hardly mentioned outside the Ramayana, which is viewed by some as being only the point of view of Rama devotees. According to that, Kabera, the king of the north direction and the guardian of heavenly wealth. He was an older half-brother of Ravana. Kabera was born to Vishrava's other wife, Ilavita. Kumbhakarna, one of the most jovial demons in Hindu mythology. When offered a boon by Brahma, he was tricked into asking for eternal sleep. A horrified Ravana, out of brotherly love, 
persuaded Brahma to amend the boon. Brahma mitigated the power of the boon by making Kumbhakarna sleep for six months and being awake for the rest six months of a year. During the war with Rama, Kumbhakarna was untimely awakened from his sleep. He tried to persuade Ravana to open negotiations with Rama and return Sita to him. But he too failed to mend the ways of Ravana. However, bound by a brother's duty, he fought on the side of Ravana and was killed in the battlefield. Before dying he met Vibhasana and blessed him for following the path of righteousness. Vibhasana, a follower of Rama and one of the most important characters in the Ramayana. As a minister and brother of Ravana, he spoke the truth without fear and advised Ravana to return the kidnapped Sita and uphold Dharma. Ravana not only rejected this sane advice but also banished him from his kingdom. Vibhasana sought protection from Rama, which was granted without hesitation. Kara, King of Janistan. He was a cousin of Ravana and the son of Kaikizi's sister Raka. Dushana, Viceroy of Janistan. Cousin of Ravana and twin brother of Kara. Ahiravan, in Kritavasi Ramayan, Ahiravan was king of the underworld ruled by the Rakshasas by Ravana and the demon King Maya. Kumbini, the older half-sister of Ravana and the wife of the demon Madhu, king of Madara. She was the mother of Lavanasura. Sahastra Ravana, he is mentioned in Adbuddha Ramayana as the elder brother of Ravana, one thousand armed and thousand headed, living on an island named Pushkar, he was much more powerful than his younger brother. He is slain by Sita who takes the form of Mahakali to slay him. Sherpanika, the sister of Ravana. She was the ultimate root of the kidnapping of Sita. She was the one who instigated her brothers to wage a war against Rama. Meghnad, the most powerful son of Ravana. He was born to Ravana's elder consort Mandadari. Adikaya Akshayakumar and Arantaka Devantaka Trishira Prayasta Ravana is said in some version to have had Shukracharya, the priest of the Asuras, as his minister, and in some versions Brihaspati, the priest of the Devas. One of the most original, which is not found in earlier manuscripts, tells how Ravana orders his court priest Brihaspati to read the Chandistava. That is, the Devi Mahatmaya, in order to stave off defeat if he can recite it. According to the Kurtavasa text, Ravana arranged for a peaceful yajna and to start the recitation of Chandi, Brihaspati was invited. Accordingly, Brihaspati recited the same correctly. Ravana in Sanskrit drama of Kerala, India Kudiyatam. Artist, Guru Nachacharya Mani Madhavachakyar. In the Bhagavata Purana, Ravana and his brother, Kumbhakarna, were said to be reincarnations of Jaya, and Vijaya, gatekeepers at Vakunta, the abode of Vishnu and were cursed to be born in earth for their insolence. These gatekeepers refused entry to the Sanatha Kumara monks, who, because of their powers and austerity, appeared as young children. For their insolence, the monks cursed them to be expelled from Vakunda and to be born on earth. Vishnu agreed that they should be punished. They were given two choices, that they could be born seven times as normal mortals and devotees of Vishnu, or three times as powerful and strong people, but as enemies of Vishnu. Eager to be back with the Lord, they choose the latter one. Ravana and his brother Kumbhakarna were born to fulfill the curse on the second birth as enemies of Vishnu in the Treta Yuga. The curse of first birth was fulfilled by Hiranyakashipu and his brother Hiranyaksha in Satya Yuga when they were both vanquished by earlier avatars of Vishnu, Hiranyaksha. By Vara and Hiranyakashipu by Narasimha, and the curse of third birth was fulfilled by Dantavakra and Shisupala in the Devapara Yuga when they both were slain by Krishna. The Eighth Avatar Ravana had gotten into a conflict with some other major asuras. In Maheshwar, Madhya Pradesh is where he is said to have fought, but lost, to Kartavirya Arjuna, and he was tied up, later Kartavirya got the name Dasagrivahai. And released him on the request of his grandfather sage Palastya. Ravana vanquished. Maratha, Gudi, Dushyanta, Saritha, Gaya, and Parava. Ravana killed Anaranya, the king of Ayodhya although the latter cursed Ravana to be slain by Rama. Ravana was vanquished by the Ikshvaku king Mandhata, an ancestor of Rama. Ravana had wrestled his brother Kabera for the pushback of Vimana. In the Ramayana, he fought Vali the Kishkinda king, but was defeated by him, because of Vali's boon to abat in half the strength of anyone he fought. He also fought with the Nibatakavachas, the descendants of Pralada, but being unable to defeat them, struck an alliance with them. Another time he was vanquished by the sage Kapila. One time, upon hearing a discourse from sage Sanat Kumara, Ravana attempted to invade Vakunta. 
only Ravana managed to enter Vakunda's capital Shwedagwipa where he was hopelessly outmatched by the inhabitants over there and was forced to retreat. Thutsakan's sculpture as a guardian of what pra Kayu, Thailand as he is considered one of the most revered devotees of Shiva, Ravana is worshipped in several places. There are some Shiva temples where Ravana is worshipped. The Kanyakubya Brahmins of Vidisha district worship Ravana, they personify him as a symbol of prosperity and regard him as a savior, claiming that Ravana was also a Kanyakubya Brahmin. Thousands of Kanyakubya Brahmins of the village Ravangram of Netaran, in the Vidisha district of Madhya Pradesh, perform daily puja in the Raven Temple and offer naivety on, Bog. Centuries ago King Shiv Shankar built a Ravana temple at Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh. The Ravana temple is opened once a year, on Dashra Day, to perform puja for the welfare of Ravana. Ravana also worshipped by Hindus of Bizrak, who claim their town to be his birthplace. The Sakura Brahmins of Gujarat also claim to descend from Ravana, and sometimes have Raven as their surnames. Some Saraswat Brahmins from Madara claim Ravana as a Saraswat Brahmin as per his lineage. There is also reference to Ravani, the lineage of Upadhyaya Yazastrata II, who was of the Gotama Gotra and was a son of Acharya Vasudatta, and described as born of Ravani. The Gandhi people of central India claim to be descendants of Ravana, and they also have temples set up for him, his wife Mandadari, and their son Meghnad. They also state that Ravana was an ancient Gan king, the tenth Dharmaguru of their tribe, and the eighteenth Lingo. Every year on Dushra, the Gandhis of the village of Paraswati carry an image of Ravana riding on an elephant in a procession. There are a number of temples in India for Ravana Ravana with Hanuman and Thalubamalata. The shadow puppet tradition of Andhra Pradesh, India Ravana was born to great sage Vishrava, and his wife, the Daitya princess Kekeshi in the Treta Yuga. People of Bizrak village in Uttar Pradesh claim that Bizrak was named after Vishrava, and that Ravana was born there. But according to Gila historical sources and folklore, Ravana was born in Lanka, where he later became king. A Ramlila actor wears the traditional attire of Ravana. One of the most important literary works of ancient India, the Ramayana has had a profound impact on art and culture in the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. An effigy of Ravana with burning sparklers on Dashera. Dashra Diwali Mela in Manchester, England, 2006. Effigies of Ravana are burned on Vijayadashami in many places throughout India. It is said that this symbolizes Rama's triumph over evil. An ancient string instrument known as a Ravanahatha is found even today in Rajasthan. Mythology credits this instrument as a creation of Ravana. Astrology there are also texts attributed to Ravana. The Raven Samhita is an astrological text or scripture narrated by Shiva and written by Ravana. Medicine The Ravanakamara Tantra is a part of the tantric rituals of the Kriya Kalagunadara Tantra, and it is an 11th century Sanskrit work for the treatment of children's diseases. It is also known as the Ravanaprok Tabalasakitsa Sutra. Ravana appears as the composer of the 16th century CE text, Arka Prakasa, which is a dialogue between the king of Lanka and his wife Mandadari about which herbs and chemicals can be used in a mixture to cure illnesses, such as syphilis. Ravana is also the composer of the 16th century CE scriptures Nadi Pariksa and Nadi Vitnana on knowledge about the veins. Linguistics Ravana is the composer of the Ravanabat, a Vedic text on the phonetics of the Sanskrit language. Ravana is also the composer of the Ravaniya, also known as Ravanabath, a text on the phonetics of the Telugu language. The Prakrita Kamadhenu grammatical text on the Prakrit language is attributed to Ravana Langsvara. Spirituality The Sankhya scripture known as the Ravana Basya, also known as Ravana Basaya, is believed to be written by Ravana. The Vaisesika scripture Katandi is attributed to Ravana. Ravana is also the name used by a commentator of the Shaiva Rudra Puraskarana. Ravanacharya is the scholar who wrote the Pitaratna, a commentary on the Rig Veda. Ravana is the composer of the Shaivite scripture Shiva Tandava Stodram. Ravana on a brass chariot of Sirsol Rajbari, West Bengal, India in Rin Spun's Pantabetan Ramayana, it is prophesied that Ravana will return as the Buddha incarnation of Vishnu in the Kali Yuga. The Taikamti Ramayana of Arunachal Pradesh as well describes Rama as a bodhisattva incarnated to get tortured by Ravana. In the Laotian Buddhist text Pralak Pralam, Rama is a bodhisattva in the embodiment of virtues, while Ravana is a Brahmin son of Viralaha who is highly materialistic. In the Cambodian Buddhist text Prarim, Buddha is an incarnation of Rama and Ravana. He is a Rakshasa. 
In the Thai Buddhist text Ramakyan, Ravana is a Rakshasa. There, he is instead known as Thatsakan, and he is depicted with green skin. In the Lankavatara Sutra, Gotama Buddha pays a visit to Lanka, and in the scripture he is addressed as a Rakshasa. He is normally identified as a demon. In the Karandavua Sutra, the god Yama asks if the visitor in hell whom he hasn't seen yet is a god or a demon, and asks whether he is Vishnu, Mahisvara, or the Rakshasa Rama. Jain accounts vary from the traditional Hindu accounts of Ramayana. The incidents are placed at the time of the 20th Tirthankara, Munisuvrata. According to Jain version, both Rama as well as Ravana were devout Jains. Ravana was a Vidyadara king who had magical powers. Also, as per the Jain accounts, Ravana was killed by Lakshmana and not Rama in the end. In the Iavasi version, Ravana is considered an Asura, not a Rakshasa. Palavar Kazantha's Ravana Kaviyam is a panegyric on Ravana. The book is made of 3,100 poetic stanzas in which Ravana is the hero. The book was released in 1946. The book was banned by the then Congress state government. The ban was lifted only in 1971. Ravana is honored in the Dravidian movement as an ancestral king and a hero, in opposition to Rama and perceived dominance by Brahmins and North Indians. In one incident, the activist Periyar once hosted a festival to celebrate Ravana and burned statues of Rama and Sita to protest Indo-Aryan domination. Films Television Notes Citations Bibliography Thanks for watching.